Good afternoon friends, hope you're well. In this video I'm going to show you how to deploy a meme coin on the Ethereum mainnet. I'm going to show you how to add liquidity, deploy the contract and also change functions in the contract like changing tax etc. So what you want to do is go to relaunchit.org. This is a token deployer, this is all it does, it just deploys your token. I'm going to select Ethereum. And we're on the main net. So I'm going to call this fish, fishy, and we call it fish as the symbol. And you can put your supply in. Now I'm going to take a wallet from wherever. This is your marketing wallet and this is your dev wallet. Both of them receive tax if you input it. So I'm going to put 110 for LP and the sell tax, pretty self-explanatory from there. We're going to go with no max transaction. You can choose whatever if you want to limit the max transaction. So that's the maximum someone can buy and the maximum someone can hold in their wallet. So the estimated fee is an estimate and this will probably be very low in comparison and I'll show you how to check. So that has shown $24. I selected market. Don't select the low one and don't select aggressive because you're paying extremely high gas on that. So we can view the transaction here and this is going to where we're going to find our contract. Uh, address. So this is validated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my wallet here and I'm going to put it into Ether Scan. Now, oh from here we will see our transaction. So this is deploy and we're going to click here and I'm just curious to see our contract here. So that cost me $15, as you can see. That cost $15 to deploy. So at the moment, it's quite cheap. That was about one way. So here's our token contract. We can put it here. Our contract will be automatically verified and we can change functions in the contract. So I'm going to launch this or deploy uh, liquidity to it. So all you need to do, V2 liquidity is click pause, click V2 liquidity add liquidity and then we're going to paste our contract in here. So we have our maximum amount. If you want to add, let's say, I don't know, 90% supply, you can do so. So it'll be 90,000 there. So that's 90% into there and we can add, I don't know, 0 0.1 for example. And we can approve this. And after this, trading will be activated, meaning people can buy. And bear in mind, we have a tax on it. And we're also going to go through the section where we can change functions in the contract. I really, really dislike MetaMask, uh, why it's so slow. And so we've approved it and we're going to supply now. After this trading reactivated, we may have some bots buy. We may have some, I don't know, people sniping. But we're going to put it into Dex Tools now and see. So here's Fishy created. So we're just waiting for that to go through. So that's submitted. And our liquidity should have been supplied now. So here's our liquidity and we've added. So you can trade this token, you can buy and sell now. Likewise, it's fully functioning. You can go here and you can buy, for example. Remember, if you can't buy or there's something wrong, remember you have max wallet, max transaction, something you've inputted from there. Now we're going to adjust the contract. So this is the part where most people would you know, get stuck or it's a little more difficult. So we've got our contract here. You operate and change functions in the right function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through everything here. And as you can see, we'll just show you a purchase on the chart. There you go. So the purchase went through and obviously I can sell whenever. So what we've got here is a few transactions. I'll show you the dev wallet, max wallet, transactions, etc. So this is the tax. So what you need to do, if you want 2% tax, you need to put 18 zeros. So put the number 2. Or if you want 5%, put 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 18 zeros because the contract is 18 decimals. So you would do that and you would write the function. Same with the dev tax, you can put the 5%. If you want zero, you can just put zero or you can put 18 zeros. It's up to you. Yeah. Updating, I'll go through everyone from the bottom. Same with the max wallet. If we want our max wallet to be 1%, we do that. If we want it to be 100, we add two more zeros. So that's 100% or 10% is like that. You get the idea, pretty self-explanatory. And we've got our max transaction, that's the same. That's how many people can buy. Update, if you want to change your marketing wallet, sell tax, buy tax, LP tax, etc. That's all there. You can transfer ownership. So if you want to transfer it to a friend or another wallet you own, you can do so if you've deployed for someone, etc. And you can exclude, um, sorry, wallets from max transaction and max uh, wallet. So usually on Ethereum, we put our, we, tip, we remove all limits and then we just uh, launch from there without any max wallet. So the other thing to note is just to renounce the contract, you click right. After that, your trading is active and you're able to, um, well, your trading is active before then, but I'm just rambling on. But you get the idea, it's pretty self-explanatory in terms of the contract and someone else bought, I don't know why, but we'll let them sell and we'll take it from there. So all the best. Thanks for watching and take care.